Okay guys, what is up? Uh, I just wanted to show you the problem the Tiger's been having. Um, the linkage on the left side for the pump has come off. There's the control for the hydro pump. Here's the lever for the handle. So, it's a quick and easy fix, but it's a temporary fix and you cannot do a lot of bumpy areas with this temporary fix or you can't gun the heck out of it uh, hopefully my friend Ben and I will get it fixed it might be have to go temporarily out of service for uh, this coming week but you want to find something heavy in this case we're going to use an axe and what we're going to do is we're going to prop the axe right here and extend the hydro pump forward now you want to find, oops, excuse me. Now you want to be able to, I'm sorry, my fat hands are in the way. First things first, I'm going to set it down because I want to make sure you guys can see it. So try to get it. Let's see, mount it. First of all, you want to get this piece right here into it right here. So what I want to do is make sure that the handle is extended forward and then slide it back. But you want to do this quick. And it's better if you have both hands available. So I'm going to set this down real quick. I'm trying to see if you can do it so you guys can see it. So again, I'm going to pop this back into place. Okay, so now that I got it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, Put force and make the hydro pump go forward and make the handle go backward to stick it in there as far as I can. So, there we go. And now, but like I said, it's not permanent. This thing gets us from all the bumps over time. It took its toll on the uh, oops, hydro pump linkage. The right side is working just fine. But I wanted to show you guys this so you all can know how to fix it. So now I do have control of the left side again. Hang on, my camera's not focusing. Come on. So I do have control of the left side again. But like I said, the vibrations from the mower and from the uh, bumpiness on the ground will sometimes make it make it want to pop out. Um, I do recommend if the, if you do use it and it pops out. Make sure the engine is shut off. Carry something like a hammer or that with you. You can pop it back in yourself. So, so it's working now. I just thought I'd let you guys know this. And another thing, if you're if the Tiger is not starting, look back in here because there's the starter motor. If that blue wire has come disconnected, pop it back in and try again because that should fire it up. That's all for now, guys. Um, just be careful. The Ferris and the Simplicity are working just fine. And we're hopefully going to get this a permanent fix on there, but I thought I would show you a temporary redneck fix. So, safe going, guys.